Hey everyone, let's talk about the participation mode inside the Whiteboard app today. So if you don't see the icon, it's over here on the left hand side, you may just need to update your Whiteboard app. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we're just going to tap it to open it up. And a few things here. What this does is it automatically subdivides your IFP space into equal sized parts to have students come up and interact with a whiteboard. So in this case, it's already divided into three parts, but we can choose one part, two parts, three, four, or even six parts. Okay. Now I like the six parts because now I can get six students up here sharing different ideas that they have in their own sized space. Now, if I have shorter students that maybe need to work down here, I can have those three come up and then I can switch these around. So let's say that I have a student here that's working in the green space. Okay. Then I have another student that's working in the red space over here. And I have another student who's working in this space and it's the blue space. Now, if I have, again, smaller students thinking elementary, I can switch this up so that now those go to the top and I, ha I can have another group come up here and work in space that's about where their eye level is. So it's a great opportunity for students to come up here and interact with the IFP. Now, another thing that I like to do is I like to capture their work. And before I do that, I'm going to show you this. This is pretty cool. I like how they've set this up. Let's say that I'm working here and I'm using yellow or something. And if I start using my finger to type over here and I run out of space, notice as I go across, it doesn't write in the other space. Now, when I do that, notice it stops at that line. Now, this student can still go over here and write in there, but at least that space is not being crowded up with the other student's work. So let's say that I want to save this, okay? So what I can do is I can go to my keyboard and I can press the shift print screen uh, buttons. So hold the shift key down and then hit print screen. Now your keyboard may be a little bit different like mine and on mine I have to actually press the function key and hold it down and then print screen. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to press function and then print screen. And now what that does is it takes a screenshot of this entire screen and saves it to my clipboard. I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a moment. Now, when I'm done here, I can go ahead and sweep all this away. So it says clear everything on all the boards. I say yes. And before I end with looking at participation mode, the message that popped up said that you may have issues using multiple pins. So my thought is just have their kids use their fingers because this is a multi-touch board. You can have lots of kids up here touching at the same time, and then it still records all that information and annotation for you. Okay, so I'm gonna close this out. Now what I wanna do is take that screenshot that we saved and I wanna display it up here on the whiteboard. All I have to do is press the clipboard right here and you can see that screenshot is right here. I can make it a little bit larger just by dragging that arrow down. And now I have that picture and I can save it. I can go right here to the download button. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. And I can go right here to my computer. And I can go to save pictures. I'll just open that up. And then I can name it something else. I'll go over here to my keyboard and I'll name it Monday. Monday participation. Press enter and now I have that saved on the computer. Now that is how you use the participation mode on the whiteboard app on your MyViewboard IFP.